When setting up your barn for voluntary milking, there are a range of cow traffic options to choose from, each with its own advantages. The primary factor that determines when a cow is milked is the milking permission settings. The frequency that a cow can be milked is up to you and can be set individually for each cow depending on her stage of lactation or level of production. With free cow traffic, cows have free access to the robot and it's the milking permission settings that determine whether she passes through the robot or is held to be milked. If she has milking permission, the gates will close and she will be milked. After milking, she's released to the feeding and resting areas. Because she has just been milked, she no longer has milking permission. So if she were to return too soon, the gates would not close and she would just pass straight through. During milking, if the system detects a high cell count or any other reason a cow needs attention, she will be automatically drafted into a separation area and the farmer will be alerted. With the milk first option, smart selection gates determine whether a cow will be allowed into the milking area. Only cows with milking permission are allowed through, meaning the milking robot isn't clogged with cows that are just passing through. Cows without milking permission are instead drafted to the feed and rest area. In the feed first option, cows move from their resting area to the feed area via one-way gates. From there, a smart selection gate will allow them through to the robot if they have milking permission or send them back to the resting area if not. The advantage of this setup is that the cows can access feed at any time without going through the selection gate. We've looked at three barn traffic options, free cow traffic, milk first and feed first. Have a word with your Dillaval representative about the option that's right for you.